Hello. Good evening. Hi, Superintendent Ruiz. Nice to see you outside of your office. Okay, my name is Nori Hoshijo. I am a parent of Las Cruces High School senior and district educator. I have resigned my position as a teacher because I no longer have faith or trust in a system that does not hold employees accountable for their behavior. There were 34 physical assaults by certified staff on a student in school year 2022-2023. That is 34 too many. The district has failed to protect students. The district failed my son because you did not protect him from a coach who misused his position of power. This system has remained stagnant since 2017, which is why you owe a brave young lady $44 million. She deserves every penny for the system that failed her too. When will the district change its system to protect students? The head football coach physically assaulted my son twice and pump faked him several times on February 1st, 2023. Since February 1st, the level of unethical behavior and sheer incompetence in this district has been disgusting, and here is why. I, do not, I did not receive a findings report. The length of the investigation was not typical. The investigators collected 10 student statements, one parent statement in four days. Four of the student statements were collected the day before the reinstatement meeting. The investigators worked miracles to get the coach reinstated four days after the HR interview. Mark Lopez messaged all the coach. He was cleared of all allegations prior to his reinstatement meeting. Confidentiality was broken. The district gave no consequences. None of the witnesses my son provided were called to give statements. Not one. The player directly involved in the incident with my son did not give a statement. Michael Phillips didn't follow district procedures for interviewing witnesses. Instead, he random sampled the gym of 80 players. I find it interesting that he did not follow any district procedure or training, considering he is the highest trained investigator in the district. The district gave no consequences. Leo Garcia, athletic coordinator, harassed my son three times and did not document such occasions. The district gave no consequences. Five out of 10 statements implied a forced grab, yet despite the statements, the investigators unsubstantiated the allegations. The coach's statements outweighed the student's statements. Not one coach statement talked about a grab. Interesting how different their perspective was. What my son learned. Not all coaches are mentors and role models. Mark Lopez will never take ownership for his actions that day. Most people won't do the right thing. He will never regret the decision to stand up to a coach who put his hands on him. What I learned. The investigation was systematically and intentionally corrupt from the beginning. Formal complaints are a joke. They did nothing. The football coaches will die for the lie. Meetings with the superintendent, parent liaison, and executive director of HR proved pointless because the evidence didn't matter. Thank you. Eddie Thomas, 